Shalom, brothers and sisters. I've probably touched on this before, but it being tabernacles and me spending a lot of time in the Old Testament going through these things and studying deeper into the Word of God and just spending time with the Holy Spirit, I want to touch on this again because every time I see it, it encourages me. And in my Bible, I've colored it in and marked it and made my notes because it is something worth noting and for those after me to note whoever picks up this working sword of God will see it immediately and see something that the Holy Spirit can reveal further to them. In Exodus 15, the song of Moses from chapter, from verse 13 all the way through to 17, we see a glimpse in what he's saying to them in a dual revelation for a future time of a rapture and a tribulation and us being with God, tabernacling with him. Now, if we begin in 13, it says, You in your mercy have led forth the people whom you have redeemed. You have guided them in your strength to your holy habitation. He has redeemed us. He's our Redeemer by the blood of the Lamb and on the cross of Calvary. He redeemed us. He is speaking to us. The people will hear and be afraid, the people of the earth. Sorrow will take hold of the inhabitants of Philistia. Then the chiefs of Edom will be dismayed. The mighty men of Moab, trembling, will take hold of them. All the inhabitants of Canaan will melt away. Fear and dread will fall on them. By the greatness of your arm, they will be as still as a stone. Till your people pass over, O Lord, till the people pass over. That trembling and fear of God is going to come upon all mankind very shortly. You will bring them in us and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance. We are God's inheritance. In the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. Behold, I go to prepare a place for you. If it were not so, I would not have told you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and fetch you so that there where I am, you may be also. You will bring them in and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance, in the place, O Lord, which you have made for your own dwelling, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. He who promised is faithful and he is coming to collect us really soon stay in the word of god don't be tossed to and fro by winds of change and stress and all sorts of things happening in the world or attacks of the one who wants to be like a lion he can't even be a lion but stay in the manner the word of god and just revel in who he is who promised and know that he is coming to collect us soon, that we may be where he is. God bless. Keep looking up. Shalom.